Welcome back. Today we're going to be shooting some 4x5 uh, Porsche 400, uh, one stop overexposed 200. Um, we're doing some 4x5 large format using the Linhoff Technica 3. Uh, we woke up pretty early. We're kind of in between cities right now, between Denton, Texas and uh, Fort Worth, Texas. Um, I don't know, I've been scouting this location out for a while now and I've been really wanting to take a photograph of it. And I have been doing a lot of 35 millimeter lately, so I wanted to transition over to 4x5 since I hardly ever use this camera. But yeah, we're doing Portra 400 and um, let's see how it turns out. So it says there hood off because it's very low light. And then I set my ISO there which is Portra 400, but it's one stop overexposed, so it's at 200. And then I just uh, put the indicator where it tells me on this gauge here. In this case, it's close to five, so there, 16 around six or seven, seven or eight seconds. We waited a little longer for the light to come out a little bit more. So there's more light. Hood closed this time. 16 at 100. I'm gonna double check on my phone. Using, you know, your standard light meter app. Shooting at 1660. A 60th of a second is what it's telling me. 22 at a 30th. We have 50, it's gonna have to do. So I'm gonna cock the shutter, make sure that fires. One more time, I'm gonna check, it's, done. it's closed. Yeah. I'm gonna pull the slide, and then we're gonna release it. So I'm happy with where I was able to take this photo to. I did a lot of post-processing on this photo in Lightroom to make it look like what you're viewing now. I'm gonna throw up the original photo and as you can see, it looks very overexposed, very spotty and a lot of dust on it. Dust is honestly just my fault whenever I was scanning it. But um, this particular photo, um, as well as the others in this, in this uh, video, actually sat for a while. I think I shot this video like in, in or around November and it's currently about to be March. So, so I don't know if this splotchiness was because uh, I let the photo sit for too long. Maybe it was a mistake in the developing process or um, it was just overexposed. But really, I'm not here to tell you how to do things. I just want you to learn from my experiences. And um, although this is how the initial photo came out, um, this has got to be probably one of the best photos in this set. Um, of this particular subject that I took. All right, that's one. Then I'm gonna do one more as a backup. That's two four by five shots, and we will uh, develop those at some point. I don't know, maybe like sometime this year. For you guys, it's gonna be like two seconds, but for us, it's gonna be quite a while. So this here's uh, what we call a loop, um, and pretty much what it is is like a magnifying glass. Uh, so you can put this up to the ground glass so you can kind of like fine-tune your focus. So I'm just going to make sure that we're in focus. Okay, so that's pretty much where I want it. We're going to take this off. So now we're going to close the shutter because we have it open for focusing. 
So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna close it. We're gonna close the hood. Now we're gonna meter. So we're gonna stick around 16. Uh, our aperture is gonna be around 16. It looks like it's gonna be the same. Light hasn't changed too much, so it's gonna be at 16 at around 60th of a second. In this case, our lens gets to 50. It's pretty close. And then we gotta make sure the aperture's at 16. We're gonna cock the shutter, and we're gonna load our camera up with some film. So see, I already forgot which one I, already, I exposed, but in this case, black means I haven't. So that's gonna be our holder. So we're gonna slide that in. I'm gonna test the shutter real quick. Good. All right, here we go. Okay, that's it. So you've made it this far, and uh, thank you for watching. You'd be doing me a huge favor if you liked the video and uh, subscribed. Um, and feel free to DM me about anything that you guys would like to talk to photo related, of course. And, you know, I love talking to the community about things that are happening right now. Uh, just the ongoing projects, I think it's really interesting um, seeing what other people uh, have going on right now and being able to bounce ideas off of each other. You know, it's, it's a great thing, and I think we should continue, uh, you know, connecting with the photo community. Um, so I'm not really as consistent as I'd like to be on YouTube. Um, it did take me a while to put this video out, mostly because uh, developing 4x5 requires a lot more chemicals <laughs> than normal. And so seeing that um, I kind of just batch develop to try to get the most out of my chemicals, you know, I had to wait a little bit so I can get this one uh, done. Luckily, one of my friends pulled through <laughs> with the chemicals that I needed. Uh, and the scanner that I needed to be able to develop and scan these photos. Unfortunately, uh, I made a few mistakes in the scanning process that created this dust and some of these like highlights. Um, really, it's just about keeping the film as flat as possible on the uh, scanner. So just one of those things where if you don't understand the process very well, it's gonna be a lot of trial and error until you get it right. Thanks again for watching. If you'd like to follow my Instagram, I'm gonna throw it up on the screen. Um, again, reach out to me if you guys want to talk about anything photo related. I'm more than happy to respond. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.